Welcome to Miss Smith's Math Tutorials. I'm Miss Smith. In this video, we're going to be talking about margin of error. So we've got a definition here. Margin of error is an amount, and it's typically a small percent, a small amount, that is allowed for in case of miscalculation or a change of circumstances. So it's just like a little interval of error possibility. We've got three formulas, if you will, to talk about. One thing that's important to note is that n, which we use both here and here, n is the sample size. So it's the amount of people either we're surveying or are part of the study or whatever it may be. We can find MOE, which stands for margin of error, by dividing 1 by the square root of n. So by the square root of how many people were surveyed or studied. We can also determine the sample size if we need to know that by dividing one by the margin of error and then squaring it. And another important thing to note is the true population interval. Okay, so that is when they ask you to find the true population interval, they're asking for the sample mean. So our final percent plus or minus the margin of error. So we'll see, I think that'll make a little more sense once we actually see it in action. So let's just dive right into an example. Out of 1,000 people surveyed, 63% of them prefer Coke over Pepsi. Find the margin of error and the true population interval. So to find the margin of error, we're gonna use this formula over here. So it's MOE margin of error is 1 divided by square root of the amount of people in the sample, right? So in this case it's 1,000. So we can find margin of error, so let's bring out our calculator. We can just type that in. So we'll do parenthesis 1 divided by square root of 1,000. And we get a really long decimal. So let's turn that decimal into a percent. So remember, in order to take a decimal into a percent, we take the decimal and we move it over to the right two places. So let's just do a percent rounded to the nearest tenth. Okay, so if this is 0 0.0316, we're going to take that decimal, move it over two places. So now we've got 3.2. Two, right because that six is bigger than five so we bump that one up to two so we've got a margin of error of 3.2 percent that's our margin of error but then they also ask for the true population interval so to find that we would take our percent of people that prefer coke okay so 63 percent and we're going to add and subtract to it the margin of error of 3.2%. So we want to actually figure out what is the math there. What is 63 minus 3.2? What is 63 plus 3.2? So we can do that over on the side. So 63 minus 3.2 and 63 plus 3.2. So 63 minus 3.2 gives us 59.8%, and 63 plus 3.2 would give us 66.2%. So our true population interval would be 59.8% to 66.2%. What the survey found was that 63% of people prefer Coke, but in case of miscalculation or maybe a change in circumstances, really we could say between 59.8% and 66.2% of people prefer Coke, and that includes that margin of error. The second question says, what would the sample size have to be to have a margin of error of plus or minus 2%. So how big would that sample size have to be? And traditionally, the larger the sample size, the more people that you survey, the smaller your margin of error gets. If our margin of error is plus or minus 2%, right, it's definitely gonna be more than 1,000 people, that's for sure. 
Let's use this formula right here to find sample size. Remember, n is sample size. We want to know n, and we've got 1 over our margin of error of 2%. Now, we can't put a percent in a fraction. We're going to have to take that 2% and turn it into a decimal. So remember, we take the decimal that's there, and we move it over two places and put in a um, zero placeholder. So we've got a 0 0.02. So 1 over 0 0.02, and then we need to square that. So let's go ahead and type that into the calculator. So we've got a 1 divided by 0 0.02, and that whole thing is squared. And that gives us a sample size of 2,500. So again, you would have to survey 2,500 people to be able to get a margin of error of plus or minus 2%. Okay, here's one for you guys to try. I'll post the answer in the video description below. This has been Miss Miss Math Tutorials.